Hello viewers, welcome to another edition of Hamatantos Adventures to the Grassroots. Today I want to show you a simple technique on how you can track water running underground by using just two iron rods of six millimeters. You know, with global warming, with deforestation, with drought, and with the effects of human activities on the environment, our water catchments are disappearing, our springs are disappearing, our rivers are drying up, but yet we have water running underground. And we can use these iron rods to track water running underground. This is a simple technology that has been used for centuries and it is not something new. Let me just show you how it works. When you hold your iron rod and as you are moving along the yard, you see it starts to cross over. Once it crosses over, you mark at the point. Let me take it again. See that it crosses over as soon as you pass the line it opens so this is the line where we docked this is a line at the echo lodge where water runs underground and this is the line where we docked our well and let me show you a simple example on how it works again this is a pipe with flowing water water is running in this post pipe so with the iron rod As you are approaching, you see that once you pass, it opens. It shows that water is running inside the hose pipe. Now, when we determine this line where water runs underground, so we had to This is where we docked our well, and this well is about 10 to 12 meters deep. So at 5 meters, we're able to get the water running in the aquifer, and then we added 5 to 7 more meters to have a reservoir on the ground. We installed rings, we installed sea sand for filtration, and then we also installed a pump, and then we covered the whole area. And I want to take you where the water is pumped into the tank. So with the pump inside, it's connected to a metal and, and a switch. So when we pump, when we press the switch, it pumps the water to a reservoir of 3,000 liters. Actually, the well here can pump more than 30,000 liters of water every day at the peak of the dry season. And we've realized that water crisis is the order of the day now. More than 100 people come here every week to get clean water at the Eco Lodge here, and we had to install a stand tap by the roadside. We realized that water is the most precious gift to man by God and by nature, and therefore, more than two billion people in the world do not have access to clean water. In Sub Saharan Africa, more than 500 children die every day because of lack of portable water, hygiene, and sanitation. And with water systems like this, it can go a long way to help us. To be safe from diseases. So here we have a drainage. This is the drainage from the tank that will always drain the water so that we can wash the tank so that it will be clean. And then here we have here we have filters. Although we've done good filtration system inside the well, we also have to install two filters here so that it should filter whatever that could have contaminated the water. So water is life. If you are inspired by my video, please you can like, share, and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and you always get a lot of amazing adventures to the grassroots. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao.